In the Cannon House office building, over 300 individuals were arrested after an Israel-Hamas ceasefire demonstration. On Wednesday afternoon, hundreds of demonstrators calling for an end to the Israel-Hamas war burst into a U.S. House office building and were taken into custody. A U.S. Capitol Police representative told NBC News that everyone went through security and entered the Cannon House office building according to the normal procedures. U.S. House and Senate office buildings, like Cannon, are open to the public, although entry is subject to security checks. However, the government says that protests are not permitted in congressional buildings. Rabbis among the demonstrators performed rallies from the main floor and several balconies, holding posters and banners, singing, praying, and chanting ceasefire now. Several of them had on black t-shirts that read, Jews say. Stop the flames now. Close to 300 people were in custody, a spokesperson for U.S. Capitol Police told News for about 6 p.m. Wednesday, more than three hours after the rally began inside the congressional office building. Officers were still processing the arrests, so they don't have exact numbers yet. Among those who were arrested, three have been charged with assault on a police officer during processing, police said the demonstrators had come from a rally hosted by Jewish Voice for Peace, which led a massive crowd from the National Mall to the U.S. Capitol in the afternoon. The protest inside Cannon began about 2.30 p.m. Organizers said 300 to 400 protesters participated inside the building. News 4 reporters at the scene described protesters as peacefully taking over the rotunda to risk arrest and call lawmakers' attention to get them to support the ceasefire. We warned the protesters to stop demonstrating and when they did not comply we began arresting them, U.S. Capitol Police said in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter.